Guitar Hero was all about introducing people to rock music and, you know, bands and playing guitar. DJ Hero is all about trying to get people into you know, a whole different genre of music, right? Hip-hop, dance, electronica, and at the same time introduce them to, you know, cool new instruments. So for people that are already familiar with how Guitar Hero plays, they're going to jump right in and it's going to be very comfortable for them. You've got three buttons right here that let you um, uh, sort of sample the left, the left track, the right track, um, you've got a platter where you spin and scratch because that's what, you know, sort of everybody knows about DJs, right? That's the fun part. And then you've got a crossfader on the left which lets you choose between track number one, the first song, or, the, or track number two, the second song. And so with DJ, it's all about mashups and mi mixes between different types of music. All great music that people already know and love but just kind of mixed up in a really fresh new way. You don't have to know any of this music. You don't even really have to know how a DJ turntable works, but we made it so easy that anybody can step up and you can pretty much start playing right away. All of the music in this game is uh, it's brand new, it's original music. It's, oh. it's music that people have never heard before. I mean, it's songs they've heard before, but mixed up in an original way. So you've got the green button, the red in the middle, and the blue. And like Guitar Hero, as these notes come down, you have to hit the button as it crosses the bottom. So this is, it's exactly like Guitar Hero. And here you'll see the scratching that's oh. involved. So you see those tracks, and when you see those tracks, you hold the button down and you scratch. <laughs> and that, that's, you know, half the fun of being a DJ, right? It's the scratching. We started out making video game accessories for other music games. And it started out really with uh, dance games. There were dance games that were very popular, and we were making dance mats for those dance games. And in Japan, they actually had music, other music games that we thought were a lot of fun. And we're thinking, well, why don't they introduce these music games into the U.S.? And um, we actually went to all the companies and said, oh, you guys make music games. Are you interested in bringing them over? And they said, no, we don't think there's a market for music games in the U.S. So we said, okay, well, I guess if they're not going to do it, then we're going to have to do it ourselves. And, you know, we thought, first of all, if you're going to make a music game, what's the kind of music that you would do here that would be successful? And we thought it's got to be rock and roll. And, you know, we, were, we started out by making hardware, so we wanted to make an instrument that people kind of held it in their hand. And we thought, if you're going to do rock and roll and you're going to do an instrument-based game, you know, you got to start with the guitar, and that's sort of how we came up with the Guitar Hero concept. Do you ever go, oh, man, what, this is awesome? You know, when we started, there was no idea how big this would get. I mean, we just had no idea. It was a lot of fun, and we knew the game would be great and it'd be a lot of fun. But Guitar Hero is the number one video game franchise of 2007. It's the number one game franchise of 2008, and through September, it was the number one of 2009. Over 45 million units of Guitar Hero have sold in the four years since we released. I mean, there's no way we could have predicted that. But it, again, it's just great to see people, you know, playing this in their living rooms and rocking out and jumping off their couches and, you know, breaking things. Things.